What's up guys, thanks for watching the Car Passion channel. Today we're gonna be getting into some serious Mega Squirt stuff, but before we do, I'd like you to check out a video by another YouTube channel called Cars On Board. Cars On Board did a super high quality short film, a story about me and my Miata, and it came out really awesome. A lot of work went into it. I'd love if you guys checked it out. Drop a like on it if you enjoy it. I'm gonna leave a link here on screen and down in the description, and let's get into this. So the first thing I want to do is load up a completely stock base map and see if the car will start and idle. So I've got my Tuner Studio open, I've got the base map loaded, and let's just see what happens. Well, can't ask for much better than that. It started up and idled pretty much like normal. Now, of course, all cars are not going to start and idle perfectly like that. I really don't have an explanation for why or why they wouldn't if it's using the same map and it's the same engine, but your car might stall out. And one thing you can do is use a little bit of throttle, see if the car will start, see if you can keep it running by manipulating the throttle a little bit. Watch your air to fuel gauge. When you let off the throttle and the car dies, if it goes really, really rich or really, really lean, then you kind of have an idea of why it's stalling out and you'll be able to use some of the things you learned in this video to fix that problem. Another thing I want to cover right away is a really common setup. Everything stock except for injectors. And you just have to make one small change in Mega Squirt if you're starting up with a base map, but you have larger injectors in your car. Come with me inside my laptop. I'll show you how it's done. Before you start the car, you're gonna come up here to basic load settings and engine and sequential settings. This value right here is what you have to change if you've upgraded your injectors. I believe stock 1.6 injectors are 230cc, so if you upgraded to a 460cc injector, you'd simply change this to 6.25 and click burn. Now your car will probably start up and idle decently with the 460cc injectors in place. You can also use this required fuel calculator and put in your data and it will help you come up with a number if you're not quite sure on what to use. Another thing you may have to adjust on the car before you drive it are things on the idle settings menu. If your AFRs are good and you are still having problems with the idle speed, you're going to want to come down here to idle control. Switch this over to closed loop, which will require a power cycle of the Mega Squirt. Sometimes you're gonna get this message right here. All you gotta do is turn your key to the accessory position or off, and then turn it back on. Now when you come up here to start up and idle, you've got a menu called closed loop idle settings. Now there's a lot of stuff to play with here and it's really just all about trial and error when you're setting up your idle. Some of this stuff is gonna be intuitive and some of it is gonna make no sense at all. But an awesome feature of Tuner Studio is if you hover over this little question mark, it's gonna tell you what each little value does, what you're adjusting. So it's really just a matter of coming through here and playing with these settings until you get the car to idle like you want to. If the car is idling fine on the base map, I would just leave this on open loop and not mess with it unless you have to. A lot of help you are, you didn't even teach us how to tune anything. Listen, like I said, idle is all about trial and error, messing with the settings, seeing what works best on your car. You're not gonna blow up your engine by messing with idle settings. But if you're afraid you're gonna make changes and then mess something up and not be able to fix it, here's something you need to know before you start tuning. How to save your tune in case you need to revert to it later. Come up here to file save tune as and by default it's going to call it whatever the date and time is you can call it whatever you want and then click save now all your settings are saved in that tune it's like a snapshot that you can reload later if you make changes that you don't know how to fix one important thing to know is every change you make to your tune Tuner Studio is automatically gonna resave it as current tune. It's gonna keep overwriting this file. If you wanna take a snapshot of your settings, you need to save it as a different name and then you'll be able to load it later. I feel like that's a logical stopping point for today. Like I said, I don't wanna overload you guys with a whole ton of information in each video. So I wanna keep these kind of short. I'll cover a few topics in each one and then in the next video, I'll go ahead and continue on. So don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you want more Mega Square content. I will see you guys in a couple days.